Uh, New Zealand High Commissioner of Fiji, members of Diplomatic Corp, uh, members of the New Zealand Fiji Business Council, I know quite a number of you are here, uh, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, Bulavinaka and a very good evening to you all. Uh, it gives me great pleasure to launch the state of art AstroTurf field today. Today's launch of the AstroTurf field is an indication of an investment which will, in the long term, derive benefits not only to the uprising resort, but also to the Fijian economy. So I'm a bit selfish. I'm looking at it from my side. I understand this has been an initiative of New Zealand Fiji Business Council, and we would like to see a lot more initiatives of this nature. This initiative is definitely an innovation, a new innovation that has been introduced uh, in Fiji, and we are very happy that it started with Fiji. On that note, I should also share with you that maybe uh, a place to start selling your product would be Lotoka City Council. Lotoka City Council is promoting the city for sports tourism, and they have embarked on a number of projects. Uh, they are building up the rugby field, the soccer field, uh, plus the swimming pool, which is of uh, Olympic standard, plus futsal, and uh, the vision is to uh, really focus on sports tourism. So maybe uh, that's where you need to be uh, talking to them. Uh, the Fijian government's uh, vision, as highlighted in the Fijian tourism, or what we call the industry plan, is to grow our tourism uh, industry to $2.2 billion industry by 2021. But I can tell you that we are well on track to achieve that. Currently, we stand at $1.9 billion. That was in year 2017. And we see that sports tourism is going to add more to it. Uh, sports tourism is a growing niche market for Fiji, uh, which contributes significantly to the social, cultural, economic, and infrastructural uh, development of the country. We've seen a lot more resorts, roads, etc., being developed around Fiji. Uh, it is regarded as a high-value market, given its potential to increase visitor numbers and spend, especially during off-peak season. And Dixon, that's where you can do a little bit more now, in terms of promoting. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 but I need people around me, and you are definitely there as one of the uh, main person. When we talk about tourism, we can't think of not mentioning Dixon Sito, isn't it? <laughs> so, uh, one of the priorities of the Fijian government as far as the five-year and 20-year development plan is concerned we want to provide new sporting uh, facilities of international standards, and we want to promote sports tourism. That's definitely on our agenda. And we want to host a lot more international uh, sports events. So the timing is right. And uh, we have found through our research that people want to come back to a country when it's, when it's all about sports. There are two groups of people who will say, okay, I've seen Fiji, so give a tick and forget about it, look for another destination. But when it comes to sports fan, it doesn't matter. They want to come back for sports. And that's what we need to target. Research also shows that uh, sports tourism is one of the fastest go uh, growing sectors. More visitors are interested in sports-related activities during their trips, irrespective of whether sport is the main reason for their travel. Uh, sports and adventure tourists are known to spend more than the average leisure tourists. In line with this initiative, the Fijian government, through Tourism Fiji, has established Events Development Fund to support events, including sporting events. Uh, since Fiji's Olympic gold medal win in 2016, Fiji's popularity as a seventh rugby nation has increased. And with that goes the Uprising Resort. Uprising Resort is known as the training camp for the gold-winning rugby sevens team. And we have seen the way 
this uprising resort has developed over a period of time to provide the support needed by our sports people. And I also like to thank uh, uh, Uprising Resort for all other events they have been involved in besides uh, Coral Coast Sevens, but also with Music Festival. The Uprising Resort is the only property in Fiji that provides both accommodation and exclusive training facilities for sporting teams, particularly rugby. This provides teams with the option of using the resort as a training camp in preparation for major tournaments or events or even as a retreat. The Fijian government encourages and promotes sports to all Fijians, irrespective of age, gender and ability. Promoting women's participation in sports and recreational activity is another focus area for us. And uh, this was uh, very well depicted by our sevens, Fijian Sevens heroes when they lifted the little girl carrying that ball and uh, during the Hamilton Sevens. The Fijian Sevens coach, Gareth Beba, very nicely put this into perspective and I quote, humility is a big part of our values. We, we talk as a team and anyone is part of our family. A ball girl coming in there is much as likely to be on the rugby field as anybody else. So that is the start for getting the gender right in sports. Promotion of Fiji as an ideal destination for international sporting events is boosted by such investments. So I'd like to thank you for choosing Fiji uh, as your first project in this area. And we encourage tourism operators to follow suit and consider diversifying the tourism products. It is important that good facilities are available to our sportsmen and women. So new facilities such as AstroTurf will increase the competitiveness of our athletes at, uh, to international standards. Not only that we can attract sports teams to come and train here in Fiji once we develop world-class uh, sporting facilities, but also to show them around and contribute to our tourism. I would also like to acknowledge SportsWorks, ACT Global Companies, who are currently installing, or is it completed? No, installing. Still installing the all-weather AstroTurf. And it is a great initiative to boost our sports tourism here in Fiji. So ladies and gentlemen, with those words, it gives me great pleasure to now officially launch Fiji's first ever AstroTurf field. Thank you, Vinaka Vakalevu and please enjoy the evening.